Hello, YouTube! This is Omega Wolf here with my actual brother, Frackbox. Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Team Fortress 2 analysis. So, guys, we lost the Sonic 06 case. So, it's not gonna... And nothing of value was lost. <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna stop that until we can find the case again. We have Sonic Generations over there. Uh, it could be a stand-in. Sure. <laughs> there. Right next to the pony poster... There, right next to the pony poster. Anyways, so we're going to watch TF2 analysis. Cuter they are. Yeah, the controller. We're starting now. Now. Okay. I can't Little. hear anything. I'll you probably just have it turned down too low. You can never hear anything. <laughs> oh, there they are. Oops. The cuter they are. I fixed it. Now it's too loud. Hey, look at that. It's a Taste rainbow ball. Rainbow, Whoa. What? Whoa. Well, somebody's dead. You know, it looks like they're still alive, because... Uh, uh, ten times. This is the tenth time this week! You should probably stop traveling if that oh, happens that much. Oh, look at the little alicorn. Aren't you cute? Oh. Where's your tiara? Hi, Maddie. Nice to Just see you. Just because somebody's too. an alicorn doesn't mean they need a crown. Oh, Where? Celestia, it's an alicorn OC kill with fi Oh, wait. What? Why is their tail like that? Bliss. <laughs> because. This is adorable. Are you trying out for the blue team? Cut it out, Toon. Have you seen the dock around? Oh, that's too cute. You're actually going to try out. <laughs> what are you going to do? Shoot them with rainbows? <laughs> Hey, the the rainbow in Generation One was a psycho killer. That's okay, great. Oh, that's they, they can be dangerous. Ugh, forget it. Oh dear. Whoa. Oi! What are you bloody fruit shop on is trying to? Oh, sorry about that. That, that was a I'm long tail. That is a very that? long tail. <laughs> I like it. It turned his hey, jar of piss touchy. into. <laughs> it, it's alcohol. Oh, it's alcohol. Yes. Oh. Oh, hey, lightning. Bliss. Supposedly. What brings you here? Oh, good. It's you, Her, I guess, sprite in this case no one seems, seems to be, to be a lower resolution than the rest. Yeah, matter. that's interesting. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lightning. It's something I noticed for the next I few they never episodes. Take anything seriously yeah. Here. It's always, How's the weather? Oh, they even zoom in on it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you probably won't be able to tell because it's going to be a smaller thing. But... Oh, no, you can see it on YouTube, too. What's that? You can see it on YouTube, too. Oh, really? it, it's, I think it's just the sprite or the vector or whatever. They fix it eventually. I see. <laughs> they'll see what keyframe can do what <laughs> internal monologue yeah if your eyes can do that you need to get something checked out I get both their eyes were doing it <laughs> what I mean is you get used to it over time yeah okay I guess you're right What's this character's Anyways, name? Uh, the one on the, on the right? right yes. Uh, Lightning oh, Bliss. Sure. She shares the, the vectoring right for this. Look for shares the job of it. Oh, I see. Uh, okay then. Well, thanks so, a lot. So, is she supposed oh, to be like part something? Why is her tail like? Why? Why is it <laughs> like that? Oh, something I can help uh, with? it's. She just decided to do that. Hmm. Because that's not how horses work. I'm surprised <laughs> to see you made the trip all the way out to the Badlands. But well, she's the tiniest alicorn. Curse. The that tiniest alicorn? Yes. Mm. Is something troubling you, Lightning? Even tinier than like your normal cheery self. What's her face? The main character? <gasps> Book horse. Book horse. Yes. <laughs> all the way out here to talk to you about the editing portions of this project. Uh, no breaking the Book horse is still second to Rainbow Dash. Sorry, right. Start a anyway, flame war. As as start a flame it, war down in the comments. comments. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't really seriously. do that. Yeah. I just don't get it. I can be very determined and not a serious pony. Ha! <laughs> 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 she fell. <laughs> I meant to do that. Uh, the fact that your right? tail was on the other side of your body, you? and then suddenly under you. This. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on purpose. Appreciate all your mm. contributions Especially since she's the editor. Yeah. Wanting to be taken seriously when so many people can't seem to focus on anything aside from how... He has radioactive soda right next to him. It's cuteness and... That is not safe. Oh, look how cute your ears 
ears are, or your cute little rainbow tail. Yeah, your ears kind of are kind of kind of large. Son of a basket eating yeah. bulldog. I am so frustrated. I could just. Hey, Doc, have you seen my? Oh, hey, cute stuff. Kind of short for a pony, aren't you? <laughs> his eyes are oh just. Gosh. His eyes just keep rotating. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Call oh. Me cute. Uh. I dare you? Call me cute. One more time. Oh dear. Wait, is that a dare or a request? <laughs> I need to be sure because her choice is kind of important right now. Yeah. Hold up, hold up a minute. You, you can hold that minigun? <laughs> huh? Uh, h how much I does guess. that minigun weigh? And a lot. That doesn't weigh you down at all. Because <laughs> I know most miniguns. <laughs> <laughs> just, huh. just whoop. I don't really know. Because I know most miniguns have to be mounted on a turret because they're too heavy to carry. Well, I know. I think I just might have something to help <laughs> others to take some... you more seriously. <laughs> uh, I'm seriously afraid. Does that count? <laughs> Wait, there's more. Oh, really? Yes. Remember uh, Golden Fox couldn't lift it? Uh, That's the sniper? Yeah. Uh, Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> yep. So what'd you think of that? Uh, it was interesting. It, it's nice to see. Um, I actually have quite a bit to say on this, actually. Because um, uh, I'm not a brony, for those of you watching this. Apparently, you're getting more views than I am. Yes. By Thank quite you. a bit. On, cause Thank we, you. We <laughs> both do a we do a let's play channel that I run where we put out episodes every single day. The channel that, that you're, you're currently watching you, the viewer, you put out, you put out videos like once every, like every Wednesday. Is yeah. That right. Or thereabouts. So you're getting more views than I am, even though I'm putting out things every single day and sometimes twice a day. It's just, it's weird. But anyway, back to, back to the video. Um, the thoughts that I had, this was actually kind of interesting. It falls in the same trope of, uh, the small person. So so okay. So the small person has the hidden power. Right. The small person has the hidden power. It's kind of like in. I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Like if yeah. I were a part of any fandom, it'd probably be the Dragon Ball Z fandom. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, I'm sort of in it. But anyway, the reason that like Akira Toriyama, who's the creator of the show, he liked to make really really powerful characters be surprisingly small. <laughs> you see this again with like like Nappa versus Vegeta, when they show up, uh, Nappa's this huge big guy, but he's like ha like less than half pa as powerful as Vegeta, basically. Yeah, he towers over him. He, he towers over him, and he's big, this big, huge honking guy, but Vegeta's and very short. And Frieza exactly. is, is just a midget compared to Goku. Exactly, but Frieza is one of the more powerful characters. And yeah. actually, <laughs> the reason that Frieza... Is, so Frieza, as you first see Frieza, actually... Um, it's a transformation to like hold on to power better. Yeah. So he actually makes himself smaller so that he doesn't use up so much power. Yeah. But when he transforms, he gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then his final form is actually just about the same size as his original form. Yeah. So, but he's still small, which is again, it's just a trope that that happens a lot. So it's actually interesting to see like the small person. You know, they're getting picked on, and and uh, we learned a new word, didn't we? Remember that word? Uh... Pat patronize. Yeah. So we, we learned the definition of that word the I other day. Com almost completely forgotten it. I'm remembering it now. Yeah. I, but mean, I've... <laughs> I mean, I've used it in like the actual literal definition of the word patronized, but she, basically she was getting patronized and then she showed everybody up by Lif a... lifting a minigun. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think that's, um, you were telling me a while ago um, about how everybody hates alicorns. Yeah. The, the, the ones with the horns and the wings. Yeah. So I actually, I think, based off of what you've shown me, I think it's actually interesting that that character, that character actually works, even though they're they're an alicorn. Yeah. For, Everyone accepts her OC. Right, because she's she has flaws. Or not necessarily yeah. flaws, but she has character. She gets picked on all the time because she's small, even though she's supposed to be this alicorn. Yeah. So that's, that's reasonable. If you're going to do a character like that, make sure that they have some sort of identifiable... Um, thing that they get don't make them a Mary Sue or right. a Gary Stu. Make sure they have something they get worked up about, or give them some sort of flaw or some side of some sort of thing like, that make them get frustrated. Right. Like allow them to be frustrated. Right. So that's that's just my thoughts on that. Uh, right. I don't know. All right. Well, 
this is getting too long. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of editing for you. So yeah. Anyway, this is this is this is Rackbox. This is Meg Wolf. You all stay safe. Have a great day, ponies. <laughs> <laughs> all right.